Hey, hello viewers, George here to do a first impressions video, or George Talks, or the fuck I call this thing, I don't fucking know no more. Um, so, this time, I'm going to be talking about my first impressions on the 20th anniversary edition of Kirby, because I love Kirby. Um, obviously, this came out a couple weeks ago, uh, what was it? What do I have here on the, it was the 16th. So, actually, uh, <laughs> So just about two weeks ago from this recording, uh, this came out, and basically it has a whole bunch of Kirby games on there to celebrate, obviously, Kirby's 20th anniversary, which, incidentally, the game came out the same year I was born. Put that together. Um, <laughs> so, what comes with the collection, and is it worth the value, and have I had fun with it so far? Okay, so basically what you get is you'll get... I'm looking at the back here so I can make sure I get this all down. You get this little booklet here, which contains a bunch of the... Uh, like, it's a book that celebrates the 20th anniversary. I mean, just a, a quick look. I know this isn't how I do my first impressions, but I mean, I haven't really first impressioned the collection box before. So, I'll do whatever the hell I want. Basically, uh, basically it gives you, like, history and information on all the games, all the game's characters... There's some concept art going there. You got uh, the history and whatnot. It's actually really interesting. I read through this entirely, which is weird. And a lot of it's really interesting. You find out a lot of really intriguing things about uh, Kirby's entire history and his creation has come to be uh, Venus. Okay, so on top of that, you get... I'm just going to open this. You get a... CD here, which contains 45 songs. Uh, 40 of them are all from the various different games, so there's like one or two from each game of Kirby that has come out. And then the last five tracks are orchestrated pieces of other of Kirby music. So like, um, I don't have it. I don't have a reference anywhere. Uh, oh, here it is. So like, oh, sorry, not the last five. The last three tracks. So you get 42. Uh, tracks that are previous Kirby games, and yeah, it seems to get about one to four different tracks per game, and then the last three are remixes, like a uh, the Gourmet Race, Green Greens, uh, and what have you. All very good music, and I've listened to a CD, and man, listening to some of that music is fantastic. It's really cool. So. Okay, so yeah, that's what you get on the CD, standard CD stuff, whatever. And then, uh, and then obviously you get the game itself. And I'm going to try and get this on the camera here. Look at that beautiful artwork. I love that. Yeah, it is artwork. I'm, I'm just double checking that I'm not screwing up here. It has nice, beautiful artwork, and um, it comes in this really nice little case here. And there's actually a history behind why they chose this, if you... If you get it, you, it says in this little booklet. I thought that was really cool. Um, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the box art. That's stupid. Okay. So, in the Kirby's 20th uh, <laughs> Anniversary Collection, um, you get six games. Uh, you get Kirby's Dream Land, Kirby's Adventure, Kirby Dream Land 2, Kirby Superstar, Kirby Dream Land 3, and Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. All of which are really good games, of course. And all of them are extremely fun. Uh, <laughs> um, also on here you get a Kirby history. So uh, basically you get to from uh, what is it? What is it? Sorry, I think it starts in uh, 1992 or either 1991. They show from 1991 or something like that all the way till the present uh, present year, which is obviously 2012. Uh, what has happened with the Kirby, like what Kirby games have come out, what uh, historical events, quote unquote, happened during those years. I don't know why they did that. It's like, uh, this guy was elected as president. It's like, why do I give a shit? I'm playing fucking Kirby. I don't care who was elected as president. It's stupid. Uh, but I guess there, I guess there's a reason for that to be like, you know, this happened, and that's why Kirby's super cool. <laughs> and then. Which is a really cool thing. This is what I spent a lot of my time when I was playing this game for a bit. Is they have uh, 
these challenge stages, uh, which has you using Kirby's various abilities and basically going through a uh, a trial run of some sort and attempting to use the abilities as best as you can, which is really fun. It's really cool, and basically these uh, levels are exclusive to this game, but they use uh, the same thing that was in the Kirby Dreamland game for the Wii that recently came out. So there's a little incentive if you really like the challenge levels in those, you'll really like these because it's the same thing. Not that I've played the challenge levels in those, but I was playing them. A lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, what else do I have to say about this game? It's fun. I, I, that's, not, that's all I have to say. I should be cutting the video right now because if you have not even fucking picked this game up, you should! If you have a Wii, pick it up! It's, it's freaking Kirby! It's Kirby! I I love Kirby. I've, uh, one of my favorite Nintendo series is obviously next to Wario, because Wario's freaking cool. It's the Kirby series because it's just so much fun. It's lighthearted. And it has a very it has incentives and challenges in it that are put on the side, so it's not like putting off uh, you know, newcomers or other people who can still enjoy it. It's weird, it's fun though. And um, obviously the games that they've included in here are really good. Uh, you know, Kirby 64 is a fun game. Kirby Adventure is really fun. Superstar is freaking amazing. Uh, if you have these games already, should you still pick it up? Yes. I ha I have a lot of these on, you know, on the Wii's Virtual Console. I have, you know, Superstar and 64. On my DS, uh, on my 3DS, I have, you know, Kirby's Adventure and I have Kirby's Dream Land on there. And I I've played um, two and three multiple times before and I still pick this up because it's it's fun it is fun and also it's an easy way for me to record my stuff but that's beside the point um so yeah I mean this is a reviews a little this uh, first impression is short but I mean what else am I going to say uh, uh, the port that they made of Kirby Adventure sucks and I don't I think they should have put it in like high resolution graphics no fuck that no no Kirby Adventure was fine. It looks good. It looks fresh. It looks great on the screen. I have no complaints about it. So, yeah, if you haven't played this game, if you don't, if you haven't played any of the games uh, that are on here, pick it up. It's an easy way to have it. Uh, how much does this cost me? I want to say it cost me about forty dollars, but I might be lying. I think it was about forty dollars. So it's a standard price. You get a bunch of games. You get some history. Oh, other thing. There are a couple episodes of the Kirby Animated Series that they put on the disc that uh, you can find in the, the history section of Kirby. Um, I think it's like the, the first the first episode, uh, episode 43, for, I'm thinking 43, and the other one's like 61 or something like that. Uh, just a few random episodes. I haven't looked at them, but I'm pretty sure the quality's fine. <laughs> I've seen the TV show when it was running. It was good. <laughs> so yeah, pick it up. Go, go grab it. Stop watching the video and go grab it <laughs> before it's out. Because uh, that's actually another thing. Is much like the uh, uh, two things. Two things before I, before I finish my thought. No, finish my thought. Then two things or something. Okay. So like much like the the Super Mario 25th Anniversary Edition that Nintendo released, I think it was last year whatever. Um, this is only out for a limited time, so they've actually only made a limited amount of copies of this game. So, just hurry up before it's gone. Perhaps by the time you finish watching this video, it might already be gone. Um, so yeah, you should probably go grab it. And also, for those of you who are feeling really weird, because um, once again, the this Mario 25th Anniversary Edition that, was, that came out is, uh, <laughs> for a lack of better terms, it was really crappy. Um, because they just sort of, it's like, here's Super Mario All-Stars on your Wii, and here's a cup, here's like ten songs from the Mario series, and here's a unique little booklet. And it's like, wow, thanks Nintendo, you're super cool. This, on the other hand, Nintendo definitely worked on it. it they don't just, like, rehash something that's already a collection of stuff. It's not like, oh, we're just gonna give you superstars. <laughs> it's like, oh, 
Thanks. No, it's not like that. They actually put time, they thought, like, which games would really stick. They actually put six games in here. That's more than four. Which, I'm, I don't know why they didn't put Super Mario World in that. That's, that boggles me. Uh, that's mind-blowing, I should say. But yeah, so you get six games in here, which is obviously good. You get some challenges, you get the history. A lot more work went into this collection set. Sorry. Into this collection set than this collection set. Which is saying a lot, because, I mean, Mario made Nintendo. Kirby didn't really make Nintendo. But it's more memorable. And I'm actually... there's I have more chances of playing this collector's edition than that collector's edition. So that should be more incentive to why this is actually a lot better. Um, so yeah, that's I guess that's it for my first impression. <laughs> it's not much of a first impression, I mean, so yeah. Go grab it, it's awesome.